food. It's a very big treat this morning because the Barefoot Contessa, Ina Garten, is here. Got a brand new cookbook out today. It's called Cooking for Jeffrey. It's filled with recipes her husband requests most often. Ina, always great to have <laughs> so you here. Happy How to are be you? Here. After you, 40 what years of marriage? 48. 48, Jeffrey <laughs> finally gets a cookbook? Yeah, he does. <laughs> is, is food one of the secrets to a long, happy marriage? You know, I think what, what it's really about is that cooking for him really is what my career was about. He loves what I cook, and encur he encourages me, and that's how I started cooking, and I just love doing it. It's after, wonderful. After 48 years, does he tell you when he doesn't love something? I, so far, he hasn't told me he doesn't like anything. In I think he thinks I'll, I'll stop cooking for him. <laughs> We're making filet today. We're making with a wonderful sauce. Let's quickly look at the ingredients. What jumps out? This is great. Filet of beef, mushrooms, mustard, Big, those are the important things. All right, you, and shallots. You can't just throw a fillet on the grill or on the stove. You have to have a little technique. What do you do? So what I do is I take the fillet beef. It's tied, so it keeps it an even, compact um, little package, so it cooks evenly. You dry it with a paper towel because you want it dry. And then what I do is I brush it with a little oil, just like this. And then I'm doing it the way steakhouses do it, which is what you do is you sear it and then you put it in the oven. And explain why searing is so important. Because it keeps the juices in and it makes a nice kind of crust. And then I have sea salt and black pepper. That's just, it. And just dip it in and then it goes right in the pan. Really well, by hot the way, pan, you want to be generous with that. You really do. Because that's do. what gives you that great crust. That's exact, and also the flavor. That's exactly right. So just I just do it just you like that. You don't do the edges? I just I do the top and bottom okay and it's just fine remember the sauce so the sauce has a lot of flavor in it so How it's long great will it take to sear so it's just about two minutes on each side and then we've got some that are seared okay I'm gonna turn this down so it doesn't sizzle the whole time <laughs> let's take okay. a look at this so then. these are all, these are all seared and they're gonna go into the oven this is what steak houses do put it in the oven 400 degrees for about 8 to 12 minutes how do you and they're know gonna be perfectly cooked how do you 120 know? degrees put a thermometer in the side okay it's perfect every time all right so, so that's gonna go in the oven perfect we'll put it right there okay let's make <laughs> so Sauce. Then we take this, the pan that they made the steaks in. It's got all the flavor in it. And now what I'm going to do is deglaze it with some cognac. By the way, we've got our tasters downstairs. Whoa! Including your girl <laughs> you get crush, Cameron, down there. <laughs> Hi, Cameron. Oh, I know. <laughs> that smell so great? Delicious. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, mm. really good. And then I put in shallots. Love so you want the sauce to have lots of flavor. Oh, my gosh. This Isn't smells that great? So Doesn't that smell great? Yeah. <laughs> and then I put in cream. And just let that simmer a little bit, and it'll thicken up. And then I use two kinds of mustard. I use regular Dijon mustard, and I use coarse mustard. I love when something looks like what it tastes like, so you know it's got mustard in it. So just put those in, and that's going to simmer away for a few minutes while the steaks are in the oven. Okay, look at it over here. And We've then got we get some cooking and down. we have some. We, Maybe this is so easy. <laughs> Isn't it nice when they I know, take care yeah, of every step for, for you? And this is what the sauce is like. And that's going to go right on the steaks. And then what we do is we have sauteed mushrooms, which is what great. What kind of mushrooms did you say you're They're using? They're cremini mushrooms. Okay. They're right. really good. Just a little bit of butter, cremini mushrooms, and voila. I did it all by myself. <laughs> this is because of the cream in the sauce. This is a little bit it's heavier. Just, and, of course, we have red meat. Has, and I'm going to talk about what you pair this with in a second. Yeah. You slice it thin or thick? I like to slice it thin. And, actually, we have some already sliced for you to taste. I need a fork. Oh, and there's a fork here, and you might need a knife. No, no, no. No, nope, you're okay. Cooking? Are you kidding? Although <laughs> and, these are big, big and slices. And I made a, a salad, a kale salad with Caesar dressing, and it's got pancetta in it, it's got croutons, and it's got fabulous Parmesan cheese. All right, and I think guys, you need a little bit of that. How's this going? Oh, I gotta, this is about as good as it gets. I have to say, as it gets. I love the sauce, mm -hmm. but the fillet is so perfect. Oh, you guys have you it. don't even need it. You don't. It's you so don't. flavorful. Oh my gosh. Because of the, it's, it's perfection. perfection. Salt and pepper really makes all the difference in the world. It's it? delicious. Can I mention? Oh. Ina just said you probably need a knife. I cut it with the fork. That's yeah. how. Yeah, it's tender. Mm -hmm. oh, it's, it's so fantastic. That's great. Mm. Mm, so we're happy. Still congratulations Thank on you. your 10th <laughs> cookbook. Thank you. And congratulations really to fun. Jeffrey as well. <laughs> She's going to be back. He's a good sport. He is a good sport, <laughs> but he eats well. Why shouldn't he be? <laughs> Ina's going to be back with Kathy Lee and Hoda a little later. You can catch yeah. live that in just a few minutes our Facebook page. All right? Check her out there. And, of course, all of today's recipes are on our website, today.com slash food. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.